Now you'll note that when you render, vector render your image in Maya, you get both stroke and fill information. And this is very valuable. And um, as we move forward and we talk about our processes, and I'm going to describe two different workflows. I'm going to describe a workflow in Illustrator and I'm going to describe a workflow in Rhino, you'll see how um, this information becomes uh, very valuable because basically the fill information uh, basically provides us with an outline that we can use to uh, cut out and isolate our object from its background. And it's a really nice uh, cutting mask that can be used in the um, laser cutting process and also the lines that we have can be manipulated in a variety of ways within Illustrator that have um, many creative implications for laser cutting. Okay, so uh, here is the file that we output using the vector renderer in Maya in Adobe Illustrator. And as you know, Adobe Illustrator is a native uh, vector drawing program, so which makes it uniquely suited for uh, laser cutting ap and engraving applications. So let's uh, do some things to format our file uh, a little bit here. Okay, so you notice that we got two sets of objects. We have, um, uh, and it comes in, the object comes in as a group. So the first thing that we probably want to do is a shift control G to ungroup our objects, okay? And then you might want to come in with your component selection, to your direct selection tool, and you want to select, uh, we want to select our, our background object, our background object. And then I'm going to say, with that selected filled solid, I'm going to say edit, select, edit, select, same, fill color and it'll select all of that and I'm going to create a new layer and and I'm going to put that object on that layer and I'm going to turn it off just to make sure that it's working. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select um, my object on that layer and I'm going to give it a stroke of um, 0 0.01, which is sort of like the recommended stroke weight for laser cutting. And I found that in this new version of um, new version of Illustrator, uh, you, there begin to be some display problems when you go below a stroke width of 0 0.01. So now, uh, with this stroke that point. Uh, zero one, the laser cutter will basically see these lines as um, will see these lines as your um, as an engraved line if it's color coded properly. But we also have um, this layer up top here, which is a great masking layer that we can use to produce our cutout shape. Our cutout shape. So let's select both of these. And let's come over here and turn paste remembers layers on. And I'm going to do an edit copy. Oops, got to have something to copy. I'm going to do an edit copy. And I'm going to come over to my laser cutting template file here. Let me do a control zero. So you can see that this represents my layer bed. And I'm going to do an edit paste. And that pastes those two elements, and it also remembers the layers. It remembers the layers. Uh, and so in this case, I'm going to deselect everything, and I'm going to select everything on this layer, and I'm going to change my fill to nothing, and I'm going to stroke that with a magenta, which will give me my... Um, cut outline. Okay, and I'm going to turn on my Z key here and zoom this area in here. I'm going to move it over here so that we can look at it there. And then I'm going to come over to this layer uh, right here and select these objects. And I'm going to change those colors, uh, the um, stroke color 
I'm going to change that to red, which is what we use to sort of signify um, engrave. And now when we look at this, um, now when we look at this, um, we can see that that this is formatted for engraving, and it's also um, formatted for um, for for cutting in the background. Uh, and actually, uh, this color right here, uh, the the text on that side should actually be blue, because that would be my inside cut. And then I can come over here and create a new layer, um, which I'll call an um, outer cut. And I can um, select the, make that layer active, select the rectangle, draw it here, and stroke that with a magenta. And once again, we're sort of formatted for that classic um, sort of um, outer cut, inner cut, engrave and it's also set up so that this can pop out so that it could be used in a um, laminating operation and that's a basic description of that workflow and um, there are a lot of variations on this and a lot of places that you can take it creatively but I'll leave that up to you have a good day